Hi, if you've been following along with our Newtone IS69 replacement speaker refinishing project, you may have watched the final video where I show the step-by-step -step of how to take one of these, which is an old weathered out polished brass IS69, and turn it into something like this, which is a refinished IS69 in mocha bronze, also called double espresso. So today I'm going to show you how to install this properly in place of this. So to remove this and install the new one, you only really need two tools. You need a Phillips screwdriver, like this, Phillips, and you're going to need a pair of wire cutters. It doesn't have to be this big, but something like this is fine. If you are tempted to drag out something like this, the old good old cordless screwdriver or cordless drill, Put this away. We're not using this. This is a job you do with hand tools. If you do this, chances are you're going to screw up your new speaker. So we're going to put this over here out of the way. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. The first thing we have to do is take the old ugly one off the wall and we're simply going to remove the two screws and put them aside. And when we take it off the wall, you're going to find that there's wires connected to the back of it. In this particular installation, because it was done as per Newtone tradition, you have a cable of IW6, which is, has six individual wires in it. There's two wires, which are the black pair. There are two wires, which are the red pair. And there's an extra two wires, which are orange, which are not used, but having extra wires is always good. Your wire colors may vary, so it depends on what the installer used for your particular installation. So you have to keep track of it. In, in Newtone tradition, black pair goes on the speaker, red pair goes on the push button. You may have red and green and yellow and black or whatever it is. If your colors are different or if you have a tendency to forget where the wires go, take a picture with your phone or make a little drawing and write it down because it's important not to get them mixed up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clip off the wires. We're not going to unscrew them from where they're connected because we want nice, fresh, clean copper when we make up our new connections. So we're going to snip them off. That's one of those reasons why we have the wire cutters. This we're done with, although you'll be sending this back to me if you want to get one of our refinished speakers because it is an exchange only program. It's also good to hang on to the screws because we want those too. And you can always put the screws on the back of the magnet and that's where they stay. Once you've done that, we need to strip off some of the insulation off the ends of the wires so we have nice, fresh, clean copper. And you don't need to strip off a whole lot. Roughly a half an inch is plenty. like that. Now, when you get the refinished speaker from us, you get a little installation bag. It contains two mounting screws and four little crimp connectors. We call them beam connectors because in the business, that's what they're referred to as. And this is actually very simple. Now, as you can see, we're installing this on a stucco wall. And if you have a stucco wall or even a painted wood wall or a brick or a stone wall, you want to be careful. You don't want to chip or scratch your newly refinished door station. So you need to make sure that it's protected. You can have someone help you hold it or you can wrap it up in a rag or you can do whatever you need to do to make sure it doesn't get scratched up on the stucco. The first thing I like to do is I like to hook up the wires for the button. And what you do is You take the wires that are already off the back of the button, as comes this way, and you pair it up with the wires that were attached to the original button. There's no need to twist them together. You just put them side by side and you slip the crimp connector over the ends of the wires. And then you take your wire cutters and you squeeze them closed in a couple spots. And that's all you gotta do. There's one. Now we'll connect up the other one.
like that. And we'll close this one by squeezing it. I always make three little squeezes, but that's just me. You could do two or you could do four, whatever you want. Now we're going to hook up the wires for the door speaker cone. And you do it the same way. See, I only did two squeezes on that one. And then we'll hook up the last wire, which is the other side of the door speaker cone. See, it's pretty simple. And see, I have the speaker dangling here on the wires, which is fine. And it's not scraping up against the stucco, so it's not going to get scratched. All right, so now all our wires are connected. How long did that take? What, two minutes maybe? Might take you a little bit longer, but it's not a difficult thing to do. Once you've done that, you carefully tuck the wires back into the wall housing and put your new door speaker up against the stucco. And then you take your brand new screws that are finished in the same color as the speaker and you put them through the hole and you just with your fingers start to thread them into the little tabs on the wall housing. Now, this is the part where the Phillips screwdriver comes in again. Now we use the screwdriver to remove the old screws and we don't really care about the old screws because they're old and ugly. But now we have brand new painted screws that are holding on a brand new painted IS-69. This is the part that you don't use the cordless drill on. If you use a cordless drill to drive the screws in, what you're going to do is the screwdriver tip in the drill is going to slip in the slots of the Phillips head screw and it's going to chip up the paint. If you get really out of hand with the whole thing, it could slip out of the screw and dance across the face of your new door speaker and then you're going to have a big scratch in it and you don't want to do that. So, turning the screw with the screwdriver, I know the screw is about three inches long and you've got to turn it more than two times to make it go in, but it's not really that big of a deal. And if you do it carefully, especially if you have a halfway decent screwdriver, not one that's all banged up and the tips all worn out, it only takes, oh, I don't know, what, 15 or 20 seconds maybe to screw in the screw. Look, I'm almost done. When I do this, I always start at the bottom and I run the screw in most of the way to start and then do the top and then snug them up one at a time. You don't need to over tighten it because we're just holding a little speaker on the wall. It's not that much to do. We're not building a bridge, we're just putting a door speaker on the wall. There you are. That's as long as it takes to swap out your old, ugly, new tone IS-69 door station. See, used to look like that. Now it looks like this. That's going to make everybody happy. We have these available on an exchange basis. If you're interested in getting one, we also have them in white. You can contact us directly. Our contact information is down below in the video's description or at the end of the video, if you watch the whole thing, is our email address and phone number. And you can email me or call me and I'll call you back. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that always helps. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell, and when you click on the bell, click on it to receive all notifications. And every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.